Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be flipping through the wedding journal that I've been working on. Um, as you can see, I've got the bag all made. Um, I used a tablecloth um, with a beautiful edging um, for the bag and I think that was all it needed. I haven't added any extra lace or anything. I think it's quite pretty the way it is um, with this beautiful flower on the front. And I've just closed it with a, with a popper. So it just pops on like that and pops off. I may need to do a little bit more sewing on that just to make sure it's nice and secure. But um, yeah, it's sewn up. Quite simple really, but, um, but I think it's quite effective with that trim. And then inside is the journal. I think there's enough lace on the journal not to need any more on the, on the bag. So I've just closed it with this sari silk, which I did iron just to make it spread out a bit more and look a bit more luxurious. I thought it looked a bit a bit better if it was um, ironed, although it's screwing up a little bit now. In fact, I think I think it got a little bit um, twisted around the back, so I'll have to sort that out. But at least with it um, ironed flat, it just makes it look a little bit more luxurious, I think. so. And that comes away so that it's not getting in your way when you're going through the journal. It's quite fat. I don't know if you can see there, it's really fat, so I'm hoping that won't put them off. <laughs> But I have said in the letter that everything's removable. So, um, and the letter that I've um, sent to them, oh, what's that? There? Oh, that's, oh, I see, that's just goes like that. Um, is, is in there. I've written them a little letter and, and that's in there. It tells them a bit about the journal. So I'll just go through it. Uh, this one you've seen with the little journal card that pulls out here. And on the on the other side, <coughs> excuse me. I always start coughing when I'm on camera. I don't cough all the time. I really don't. Um, so that's the guest list um, page. So I'm actually filming this the day before the wedding is due to play, take place. So as far as I'm aware, everybody that's going is now out in Rhodes, in in uh, you know the Greek island of Rhodes. Uh, my sister included. Um, so I want this to get ready to so that they it's there um, it arrives soon after they return. So I just popped in this pocket here, this little booklet, this little trifold that I made on camera, I believe, the other day, and that comes out like that, and that just pops in here. Now on here is the um, side tuck, the lacy side tuck, and I've put this in it. It makes it a bit bulky. Um, but I was struggling to find the right place for this because it's quite a bulky thing but it had to go in because it's got lots of family photographs in it. Um, I made this on camera, um, I, I made it actually for the first journal and then when I switched it around and gave it to somebody other than my nephew, um, this obviously wouldn't work so um, if you go back into my playlist for the wedding journal number one you'll find the trifold envelope there. And then I've added lace on pretty well every, almost every other page, if not more than that. So I've just put where there, where there wasn't a pocket, there's a there's at least some lace, and sometimes when there is a pocket. So the waterfall I thought went really well in here. This is the waterfall that I made uh, that I did make on camera, but as you can see, it just flips up, and then you've got somewhere to put photographs or do whatever you want, and that just pops into that little tuck there. So I used this, this is um, from the kit, this is one of the cut aparts from the kit and it was a big circle and I just didn't know what to do with it and I thought well actually if I cut it there it would make a really nice tuck. So that's what I've done and I think all the all come, all these bits go from, from come from the same kit so it goes really well together as a page. And then in this pocket here with a couple of the tags that I made and and then here is the lacy pocket with the uh, the journal card. Oh, it goes rather nicely together. And then um, I put some lace here, and I put the word "happy couple" or the phrase because it looks like there needs to be a photograph here. So I thought that'd be a good good place for a photograph. And just a bit of lace on this page. And then on here, I've got this pocket 
This is um, from the um, the other Stampiero paper pad, the one that's called Ceremony rather than Wedding, but it's very weddingy. Uh, it's still it's still a wedding one. Um, I had one that, and it was sewn around, so I thought I'd pop that in there because it's nice and flat. And then this is a little uh, envelope from the um, Calico Collage kit called Love Story. That's a little envelope, and inside it I popped a tag, and this is my mum and dad on their wedding day. So I have popped a few quite personal things in here for them to find. And then this pretty page with some lace. Then we've got the envelope flip there um, with the journaling card that was made to go in it, which is sticking a little bit. So that comes out there. Can you see that? That goes in there. Oops, catching on the on the little leaf on the card. There we are. Right. And then so this is that um, belly band that I added the little butterfly to. And just behind that, another piece from the ceremony Stamperia kit that was just cut out, cut out of one of the um, one of the pages. It wasn't yeah, it was just one of the pieces from from the pad. Um, not specifically as a journaling card, but I think it works quite well as one. And it's nice and flat. I'm trying to go for the, sort of, as many flat things as I could. And then this is that really pretty um, tag that I made on camera. And I did add a topper to it in the end. I, hadn't, I wasn't sure whether I would, but I decided it needed one. And then just a little simple tag in here with this pocket. And I added a little uh, snippet down the bottom there, just to cheer it up a bit, make it a little bit more textural. Then in the middle, I've got the two corner pockets that I said I was going to use in this middle page. And then these are the, there's a journal card there, just because it had all the colours in. So I've popped that one in there. And again, this little journal card here. So they've actually, all of them have got um, well, they've all got people on. Three of them have got Tim Holtz people. This is from a Mrs. Cogs um, kit. The kit, I think, just says wedding, wedding kit. So yeah, I thought that looks quite pretty. There's two corner pockets there. Then there's this one here, which is which is a tag and a pocket. I could have put something behind here. I didn't in the end because it was getting so bulky. But I've got this little tag on this in the pocket. That's my mum when she was being a bridesmaid, so she must have been about, I don't know, 17, 18 there. I love that picture of her. So I'll pop that in there, I think that looks quite nice. And again I'll put some lace on here, just to pull in this lovely dusky pink and these roses. So I've put some dusky pink lace on the side. This is the other side of the envelope, it just pulls out there. You've seen that, you saw that being made and I don't know I might need to put a tag on there if I remember I think I will try and remember to put a tag on here because I've just popped a little another little journal card in here but I'm not sure if it's very obvious so I might just try and remember to put a little tag on the top there I'll just make that stick out to remind myself that that needs a tag and in this pocket here, so I've got this little side tuck, so I've got this little card, that's from the um, Calico Collage kit, Love Story. And then this is the, the little um, card I made, uh, the ephemera holder I made with, uh, with Rachel on her part of her challenge, with the um, vellum on the top that's been printed, and then underneath just a few little couple of little rows, of, two rows of pockets with some little bits and pieces from the kits. Just some little, little things that would fit in, some phrases um, that they can stick in or not if they will, as they wish. And I've just held that together with a little gold paper clip. I'm just going to pop that back on. Yeah. Okay. Then on this page, I've got another little journaling card with these these little children from 
the Tim Holtz people. And that's, that's an obvious place for a photograph, so that might go there. I mean, it's entirely up to them what they do with this. And this is that multiple flip-out thing that gets a bit complicated. Um, so it just flips that way. And then it flips that way. Confused the hell out of my husband when he was trying to, when he had a look at it. I just <laughs> showed it to him to see what he thought. And uh, yeah, he didn't quite get the hang of that at all. Okay, and then on the other side, there were these little tags already in it, and then I added this one as well, because I thought it went rather well with that page. I'm just wondering if it's a bit too much, just because this is getting so fat now. I'm going to hang on to that and pop it in somewhere else, like maybe at the back. Okay, so I might just leave that as it is, even though it would, there was room. Okay, in this in the belly band, I decided to put this cut this big journaling card. And then in this pocket here, you've got several things going on. You've got this little little card here. This was made from an envelope, so it's it's tucked into that little flap there. And then there's a couple of little journal cards in this pocket here. in there. Don't want it to catch up too much. If you put lace too near the bottom it just catches when you put, put it in the pockets. And then there's a, a little journaling card behind here. I'm just wondering whether this would work better. Hmm. Maybe it would. Maybe that would work in there better, actually. On reflection. So there. And then this, um, I don't know if you remember when I went when I was putting things in, I realised I hadn't um, stuck in the little paper pad. In the end I decided to dispense with the paper pad and do something different. Because I just wasn't sure they'd want something to write on. So I added a little side tuck here from one of those clusters that I made and popped in this little journal card, or tag, surely, should I say. Um, that was one I made um, as part of the Rachel Challenge and I quite liked it in there. I just thought it was quite sweet. Um, so I popped that in there instead of the flip-up little paper pad that I'd made. And I actually think that works quite well. Just there. And then... At the back, we've got popped into this pocket. He actually that matches. That's just a little double double card with some lace to tuck something into. Goes in there, and then in the back pocket, I've got the accordion folder that I made um, following Gail's. But I don't think it was originally Gail. I think it was. I forget who made it originally. It could have been uh, Liz the Paper Project. It might have come from her. I've been watching a few of her, her videos lately. She makes this kind of thing. Um, so she may have come up with the original uh, design. Um, and Gail adapted it her way. And I, I, she was the one I followed. But um, I'm sure Liz also explains it really well. I just haven't seen that video. So that's that one. So I think actually taken that out it's really pretty but I think it could go into another kit into another journal it doesn't sort of specifically say wedding so it goes something in like a like a shabby chic journal or something so I think I'll hang on to that um yeah so that is the flip through shall we see if we can find a tag to go on the top a tab should I say to go on the top of that If I've got any suitable ones in my box, I might have. Actually, that one. And that's this one might work. Let's just see. Let's 
get on the right page. See if that would work. I've probably got some made from the matching paper pad. Um, but not in this box, of course. That would be too easy. Um, Oh, that one might work, I think. I think I might put that one on there. Oh, no, not that one. I want the other glue. I wasn't really planning to do any gluing today. Let's see if I can get this to work, and then that's then it's done. So I need to get this wrapped up and in the post. Is going to come out? It's not cooperating as usual. Am I coming out? Yeah. Starting to flow. Right. a little tab to tell them that there's something to pull on in that pocket. I like that. Okay, that's fine. Happy with that. Okay. There were still quite a few bits of ephemera left, but I had to I had to rein myself in and actually remove a few things because it was just it has got very, very fat, which is fatter than I wanted it to be, in that I didn't want it to, to be sort of look unusable, but at the same time, you know, <laughs> just can't help myself, just made so many things and I wanted them all to go in. Let's just trim off this bit of, oh, it's come off. Right, so there we are, let's wrap it up again. Short video today. Um, but I just needed to get this done and ready to ready to post. There will be more. There will be longer videos to come, I can tell you that. I've got some things in mind that I know are going to take me longer, so it's it's trying to do a bit of both, get a few things tidied up and out the door like this and then they've got a couple of things that I'm going to be doing that will take me possibly more than one video to get through so it's a balance isn't it if I tie that nice and tightly it won't look too fat <laughs> let's get the bow try and do a nice bow Lovely, this silk. Now I've got it uneven now, haven't I? Okay, let's try and even things up a bit. Try again, see if we can get a nice bow this time. There we are. Okay, that will do nicely. I think that'll be okay.
so there we have it wedding journal number two I had a lot of fun making it but I think I need a break from wedding journals now for a while um, I've got some as I say I've got one or two other things in my head that I want to do so I will be with you again soon and uh, please do join me thank you for joining me today bye for now